But here it is, guys. This is a 1956 single cab. You can see all these trees are starting to grow back. When I first saw this truck, I think four years ago, there was legit saplings growing all through here, so. Deck's not terrible. Semi-auto. Oh, it's just, just as I say that, it gets worse. I'm gonna get some clippers, get some room cleared out for us. Yeah, see, it's got the little bubble, bubble taillights. Not too bad in the ground back here. That's good to see. Get the jack back here. Start freeing up the brake drums. There's our VIN on these earlier buses and trucks. I'm just praying there's a frame in this thing. I am praying those torsion tubes aren't rotted. Looking for the winter project, and, and, and this is it, I think. So as long as there's a frame in there, this is the winter project. So time has come to get this thing out of here. Transmission everywhere. Just smell off. Really does. The 47 covers. How's it looking, guys? I'm not going to go too high because I don't want to bend it. So today's kind of a prep day. See what I'm up against. I didn't bring everything. I didn't bring the trailer. Uh, I was looking to do the brake drums today, but those are in a box on the other trailer. But the good news is there's plenty to do. I've been cutting all the small saplings and we need to remove this fence, up jacket, get it out of the ground. Still need to go unbury the engine, so there's plenty to do today. A small window. Baseball practice, 3.30. Championship game Saturday. You guys are seeing this today. At least my loyal 1,000 subscribers. Not quite as quiet as New Hampshire. MVP. Back at it, day two, guys. Plan is to free up all the brake drums today, get this thing rolling, Just roll it right out of here. Now for the real test on the CC. All done. Love it. Comes with a case, all your sockets inside. Very happy with it. Thanks again, CC. Well, I just banged this thing all the way back on and banged the living you know what out of it. So, seems to be moving a little better now. Hopefully, this was the worst one. Usually, the first one is the easy one, that's always the last one, right? Not seem to do the trick. Oh, that's good news. Cause that thing really fought me. The 
Give it up. There we go. Just pull on it. Not taking the white wall, huh? Those are cokers. Those are expensive. Off-road jacks. Boards to roll your jack on. Probably nice, but... Oh, we're leaning. Well, that's right, because we're rolling in the back. So my ramp back there is working. Um, chalk the wheels. Four for four. Nice. I actually saw it move. Of course, now I gotta redo my jack. So yeah, a board and an off-road jack, or just a board would be great right now, sure. I got a jog right here. You guys should have saw that and popped that in for me. That's exciting though. I did see it move. The snow is going to the back. Rocket. Let's catch. Number three. Let's go. One more to go, guys. One more to go. Last one, guys. I'm running out of gas. I still have to carry that engine out of the kitchen here. Full dress 36. Luckily, it's only a 36, but my back's about cooked right now. That's it, boys and girls. Sit in the door panel. That's why I wear safety glasses. I don't have a razor blade. I really don't want to. for the big question, oh, the door open. Got it. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> Come on. I'm not forcing that. Oh, man. That's my handwriting. I'm just wondering how I knew it was for the single cab. So 
Come on. Oh, we're in. Oh, yeah, baby. She is free. How awesome is that? I went ahead and popped this one as well. This makes it easier to steer, and it's they're, they're cooked, obviously. All right, let's hook up. We'll pull this thing out and try to get this thing loaded. You know, I bought this snatch block like four years ago. Not that I really know how to use it yet, but I'm trying. Try that. <laughs> I'm pretty cooked. I mean, this is gravy compared to buses in a stream, but I am honestly pretty cooked. Big fine one. This is how GoPros get crushed on rocks. Yeah. Cell phones. All right, we're going in. It's getting late. Something died on this side. Here we go. Let's give it a shot. There it goes. No, don't do that. This is where you want a wireless remote. Might have to just push it back. Let's just winch it up. There we go. Yeah, bite. That's gonna make it. Not sure really what I'm doing right now. Guys, I don't feel good about this, but we're gonna try it in. Degree of difficulty for me, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh -oh. I gotta lose the snatch block, I think. How's the probability of landing it now? I didn't think about the engine sliding out the back, idiot. Yelling at me for the GoPro. Let me put this in the truck. 
It's already smashed. That's it guys, Lucky is on. Been chasing this thing for a long time, years. Lucky, last owner named it Lucky, so it's coming home. I'll get it strapped down, it's gonna be dark. I'll see you guys home. Contact lenses, should drive with them, but we're gonna drive without them. All right, guys, we made it back. I've been out here with the old CRC lube. This stuff smells just like crawl. So I've been, been working on this door because you don't want to pull it off the hinge. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Nice. That took much longer than that. So I've just been lubricating everything, like the window latches and all that. So let's get into this thing. That is one crispy mirror. I mean, wow, look at that. I mean, that's crazy. How'd that... Oh, that must, must have been full of water and it just leaked down. But how come the vent box isn't all rotted out? Look at that. that. That is just crazy. Parcel tray on the other side, seen better days, but I have one. Gotta get all this glass. Oh, here, check this out. VW stamp muffler. We're doing a will it run on that, don't you worry. So, let's get this thing cleaned out. I want to see if there's any goodies under the seat. I can't reach that one. Nothing back there. want to find a church key. Church key or a crank? I don't see anything back there. Let's get this out of here. Well, our seat frame's in good shape. That's good news. I would like to find the engine crank. I don't know what that's from. Nothing. No way. Can't believe there's nothing under there. Nothing in there. This is nice. Seat pedestal. It's a weird place for a dent like that, huh? Still have our dome light. Nice and blue up there. But this is exciting. I mean, look how solid this is in here, guys. Usually, you know, this is all rotted out the pedestal. 
Doesn't look like we had any mice in here, which is awesome. Still has the uh, paper behind the fuses. Love that. Yeah, we gotta be careful with this floor mat. It's actually in pretty good shape. Usually these are in a million pieces. Look at that. Wow. Usually these corners are completely cooked. So the story is this bus was in great shape until it went to the scrap yard. Either the guys at the golf course beat the hell out of it before it left or it got banged up at the scrap yard. But you can see it's got Bondo and stuff on it. So I don't know who's responsible for all that damage. I got a patch here. So yeah. That patch is prior to that though. Definitely had a leak. I'm really excited to see though our fresh air vent system's not all rotted out mice. So having cats around was actually a good thing. Look at that blue though, man. Look how nice that is. I know, it's the inside. I mean the mileage, I don't know. 20, eh, it might be 126. I don't know, 26,000 original. Shifter doesn't have, eh, it's probably 126. They must have just taken care of the valves on the engine or it's been rebuilt, we'll see later. I'm stoked about that though. That's, how, how bad is it in the center? Watch the center. Yeah, it's pretty cooked in there. Ay, ay, ay. No church key. No crank either. Dang. All right, I'm going to get this all vacuumed out and I'll bring you back. Oh my. What is this? Look at this. What, what is that, guys? What is that? What is that? I've never seen one of these before. Holy cow, what is that? Is that it's not cigarette holding. Mean, what is that? Let me know what that is. I've never seen that before. This is awesome. The rest of the truck, not so much. You know me, I'm gonna buff that dash. I won't bore you with that, but man, I was just underneath this thing, guys. The driver's side is really, really crispy. There's not a lot behind that. So we got the driver frame rail around the torsion tube. That's, I mean, that's fixable. The rest of the torsion tube, solid. That frame over there is solid. Get over here, things get a little light. You can see the gas tank area in front of and the actual tank here is pretty crispy. Obviously this rocker is cooked. All the cross members are cooked. The beam looks solid from what I can tell so that's nice. Again this driver's mid frame is pretty light. You can kind of push on it. It's, it's it's kind of flimsy. Passenger side's not terrible, but all the, you know, you got to do all the cross members. They're all they're all cooked. The other rocker obviously is cooked. All the outriggers are cooked. So it's like you almost have to just start from this frame, right? Rip everything off top top floor bottom floor you can see they broke the nose cone I got a crack here in the nose cone see that that's unfortunate but it's just a nose cone shift rod coupler shift rod looks pretty crispy both rear frame rails look good so that's sweet and then of course that whole corner battery side corner passenger that thing is absolutely cooked and all those little, I don't know what you call them, that come down where the uh, engine light is, all those small pieces. 
It's pretty intricate back there. Driver's side, you got the flap. You don't need the other parcel area tray, battery tray, opposite side, whatever you want to call it. Both corners are cooked. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Stoked we got the 56 home. A little bummed about the frame, but I have a lot of parts from the 58 single cab that I traded for that hellaciously slapped together Camaro. Rockers, dog legs, nose pieces, floors, corners. And thank you for all the awesome comments on buses in a stream. Man, it's hard to believe those are, they're here, yonder. What's happening with those? I don't know yet. I do not know yet. I would love to do a chassis on that 15. Let's tackle something that at least has a repairable frame first. Learn from that. Maybe we can get Delbergs to give us a hand on the frame. He's got some experience with his bay window. Next, we'll probably fire up the 36 horse, lubricate the cylinders, check the valves, yada, yada. Fire it up right here on the old nine foot bed, musty one style. So thank you guys for dropping in. Make it a great few days and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys.